U.S. Department of Justice, Drug Enforcement Administration. At this moment, all of our agents are currently busy. Leave us your name, phone mm-hmm. number, best time to reach you, and we will return your phone call. U.S. Department of Justice, Drug Enforcement, how can I be of assistance for the rank of call? Yeah, I'm trying to reach uh, Mr. O'Neill. Uh, I got a message from him. Okay, no problem. Um, let me see if he's available. But what is your first and last name, please? Uh, it's James Leahy. I'm sorry? Uh, James Leahy. Okay, please call. Let me see if he's available. All right. Drug Enforcement Special Agent Patrick O'Neill, how are you this afternoon, James? Hi, how's it going? How are you doing? I'm very fine myself. Uh, we're conducting an open ongoing investigation where your name has surfaced. Oh. Uh, would you happen to have the slightest idea as to why you're receiving a contact call from the DEA this afternoon? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe you could let me know. I'm, yeah, I don't really know. Okay. What my division is investigating are the online suspicious pharmacies that have been operating without any authorization is considered valid to the FDA. Oh. Have you had any recent contact from any of these online pharmacies? Um, I dealt with one probably a couple months ago. But, uh, months ago, that's correct. Were you aware that it has been illegal since 1999? The buyer purchased prescription medication online without a valid doctor's consultation, oh. which is 21 U.S.C. Section 952. That has a penalty of up to five years in prison and or up to a thousand, uh, sorry, $250,000 fine. Oh. For importation of non-narcotics, Schedule Three, Four, Five drugs. Oh wow! Well. Now, do you have do you have any legal prescription drugs at your address as we speak? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I finished them. I don't know if I still have the bottles. Sorry, you, you don't. You you what? I said I don't know if I still have the bottles. The, the the reason we're asking here is because we do have a search and seizure warrant for your property, plus an arrest warrant for yourself. Oh shit! Now, yes. you were buying these prescription drugs. To sell them in the black uh, in the black market for profits, or, or or is this for your personal use? This was just for mostly personal. I mean, I I don't even know they were illegal. Um, Have you been arrested for DUI, DWIs, or misconducts in the past six months? Uh, not in the past six months. No, I've had I had a DUI back in two thousand six. Um, but I got that all taken DUI care of. I mean, six. Yeah. Okay. I'm, is I'm that showing up on there? Here. I mean, yeah, it, it 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 is. We're just we just need to make sure that you don't have any undercover crime life that you're not hiding anything here. Oh. Okay. Now they're 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 going to impose a civil penalty fine for the amount of twenty five thousand dollars. Oh. You're going to be paying with a cashier's check to the United States Department of Justice. Oh. Okay. Which is to, towards the federal courthouse. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Okay, we're going to trace your cell, your cell phone position at the time. Uh, what current zip code are you under? Um, I'm just in Naperville here. Okay, do you know the zip code? Uh, yeah, it's six zero five six four. Is my zip? Okay, well, let me see what courthouse we have available uh, to take in your fine payment. Okay. Um, I. You know, stay online uh, while I work with you and see what the co- closest courthouse is for you. Uh, let uh, let me advise you, you're going to have to start moving uh, and try to have your cell phone handy and try to have the best reception you, as you can. If we get disconnected okay. and you don't contact me right back or I can't get a hold of you, you're going to become a fugitive of the law. Do you oh, understand? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, well, no, I'm staying on the line with you then. I'm I'm not getting disconnected here. Okay, so stay on line with me. Okay. Okay, uh, James? Yeah, this is James here. Okay, uh, James Special Agent Thompson. Hi. Uh, in the charge here. Hi. Now, first of all, let me ask you this. Do you understand the reason that we had Agent O'Neill contact you here uh, today? Y- uh, yes, it was. I, I wasn't aware of that, but um, like I said, I had just bought some online, you know. You, you, you are not allowed to purchase any prescription medication online here in the state. Now, there, I don't know if you were aware that the uh, pharmaceutical company which you were dealing with, uh, we've been investigating these guys for the last 12 years. Oh, my okay? God. This, wow. this, this actually led us down uh, to a third world country. 
uh-huh. where these individuals were reproducing and manufacturing these prescriptions. You understand? Oh, was that they like... They were smuggling these illegal narcotics inside of Miami. Oh, man. Now, their their main warehouse uh, was in Florida. We, we were able to shut them down. We have the pharmacy owner under arrest and also a couple of other individuals under arrest at the time. Oh. Which work for the apparent pharmaceutical company. We we have to speak to their authorities there because they were the ones who were pushing real hard for us oh. to have you arrested. You know, oh. They made us contact you, oh issuing out an arrest warrant on your behalf. Oh, my God. Not here in the state yeah, because yeah. you were purchasing these prescriptions. You understand? Right, right. Right now, the conversation is being monitored, okay, uh, by the United States federal government, also the Illinois State Federal Courthouse. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, you have the sanction of a civil to penalty fine, uh, which will, you would have to be able to issue out. Yeah. Now, what I suggest is you start. Uh, let me let me speak to the deputy district attorney. That way, we can get everything approved. Yeah. Uh, that way, you can start going over to your bank at the moment. You understand? Yes. Your yes. Bank open at this time. Uh, yeah, I think they're open till uh, 7 tonight. Okay, oh, okay. I'm, I'm jumping my car here. Okay, James? Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm here. Well, I, uh, uh, the deputy district attorney pull up the records, okay? Okay. And, he, he, yeah, he, he he's taking a look at the situation, and because of your previous uh, background, he said that, you're going to have to pay an overall fine of fifty thousand. Okay, it's not twenty-five, and that is because of the problem which you had in two thousand and six. Oh my gosh! Well, are you are you going to be able to comply with that kind of civil penalty fine? Um, if it has to be today, I can I can do it today. But well, yes, you're going to have to acquire a cashier's check. Okay. Okay. Uh, just letting me know that, that yeah. way uh, this can be paid out to the federal courthouses. In Miami, you understand? That way, this they can drop the charges there, and that way you would be able to carry on with your normal life. But they're speaking. They'll let they'll let the local they'll let the local DA office know, or well, well, start going there now because they're talking to the deputy district attorney in Miami. You understand? Oh, okay, yeah. To the matter. All right. So start going over to the bank now. Are you going to be able to gather that amount of fifty thousand? Yes, yes, yes. I'm I'm actually headed there now. I'm about it's about five minutes away. But let me know when you're in the parking lot so I can provide you with the judge's clerk's name. Okay. 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 And that way you can be able to get the cashier's check uh, under the judge's clerk's name there in your bank. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take your time. All right. Hello. Hello? Okay, James. Yeah, I just pulled in here. I'm uh, just in my car. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go inside uh, of your financial institution, and you're going to ask for a certified cashier's check, okay? A certified cashier's check? That is correct, okay? Okay. Now, let me provide you uh, the name uh, for the judge's clerk there in Miami, okay? Okay. Uh, his first name is Roy Elio. Okay. Reg- Regelio, Regelio. That is correct. So it's R O G E L I O. That is correct. That is correct. So okay. you have to go inside of your bank and get a certified cashier's check, okay? Okay. It's about it... fifty thousand. You have to put Rogelio. Okay. That's do, the judge. Do I clerk. need a? Uh, that's the judge's clerk. Do I need an? I don't need an address for that or anything, do I? Or? No, not yet, because we're going to provide you with the address once you're finished there. Uh, we have to see if there's there's a FedEx or a UPS available. Now, go inside, okay? Hopefully, we won't get disconnected. Just hold the phone in your hand, okay? You don't have to have your own speakerphone, okay? Okay, yeah, I will. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, sir, are you there? Are you there, sir? Yes, James. Special yeah. Agent O'Neill. Hi. Yeah, this is James. Uh, looks like we got it all okay. taken care of. Um, thanks. Fuck, I had that much money in my account there. My God. Okay, l- let me... Do you know where the FedEx is there? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm gonna okay, head, so I'm start he- heading over there and okay. let me inform uh, the uh, special agent in charge of what's okay. going on, okay? Do I... Uh, I need the address, I guess, to send it to for the district down there? Yes, I we're, we're going to have that, that on information the... for you. We're going to have that information for you. Start heading over to FedEx, okay? Okay, I will do. 
Okay, take your time and drive slow. <sighs> okay, James, are, are, are you driving uh, towards FedEx? James? Are you there? Hey, yes, I'm here. Are, are, yeah. are you driving at the time? Uh, I am driving right now, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I think okay, they're still so open until 9 tonight, so. Okay, so, so go ahead, take your time. Let me know once you're in the parking lot. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, James. Hey. Yeah, I'm here. Special Hello? Agent Thompson. Okay. Hi, sir. Special Agent Thompson. Okay. Hi. Now, as I understand, you're on your way to FedEx. Is that I'm correct? just pulling up here, actually. Um, okay. Now, were, were you able to get the uh, certified cashier's check? I do have the check. She put it in a little uh, folder here for me. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, how's that going to affect me tax-wise at the end of the year? 50000 is a pretty big chunk, wouldn't you say? You know? What, what do you mean by that? Because you're breaking, you're breaking, you're breaking up real badly. I don't know what, where, where, you, where oh. you're standing at now. Um, it's, it's because I'm in front of my computer, and the day we took hostages, we became mercenaries, and mercenaries get paid. I want my fucking money. You understand? You're an idiot, buddy. You don't think I've been messing with you the past around. whole three hours? You're, You're an absolute you're moron. You're an absolute moron. You're so stupid. You don't think I've been trolling you the past three hours? <laughs>